Shout out to Astarte Jones for sending me this story. And this is an update on the nine-year-old boy out of Illinois who set those fires to those mobile homes that killed many people. Well, here, well, here's a picture of the boy right here. So now we know what he looks like. And you can just look at this picture and tell he was just destined for chaos. But his name is Kyle Alwood. And this is him right here. And the latest update is, is he has now appeared in court on murder charges. Remember the last time they were trying to fight to say that he doesn't need to be hit with murder charges because he's too young. No, let those charges stick. Make an example out of him. Now, you know what would be interesting if this boy actually was found guilty of murder and it shows you that a court system actually was able to get it right on a palm color individual. But the thing is, he's a minor, a very young minor at that. They don't even do all this for the old, for the adults that are over the age of 18. They will find a way to make them skate on through, but they are actually, they are trying to make this stick. That I think the shocking thing is, is that they actually got murder charges on this boy because they tried to fight tooth and nail to get them to be dropped. But we're not going to jump out the window just yet because these are just charges. Anything can happen with court proceedings. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article. Coming from KMOV4, a nine-year-old boy accused of setting a fire or setting of fires to his family home appeared in Illinois court Monday. Kyle Alwood was charged with five counts of first-degree murder and various counts of arson for the killing of five of his relatives on one night in April. Prosecutors say the boy intentionally set the blaze. CBS News correspondent Errol Barnett was in a courtroom where the judge laid out the charges against the boy. Barnett said Kyle was barely visible above the back of his chair and his feet could barely touch the ground. You know what they're trying to say? He's too young. Fuck all that. Give that boy a booster seat or a stack of phone books and, and uh, carry on with this case. Or this trial, I should say. During the arraignment... Alwood's attorney had to explain some of the terms the judge used, including the words alleged arson and residence. Kyle left the courtroom in tears with his arms crossed, escorted by his paternal grandfather, Barnett added. <laughs> arms crossed sounds like he was throwing a little tantrum. That's probably why he set those fires. Since the incident, Kyle's mother, Katie Alwood, has been hit with a gag order restricting her ability to talk about the case. She is currently in a Chicago hospital being treated for unspecified medical issues. Katie spoke with CBS News shortly after the incident and fought back tears as she talked about her son. Everyone is looking at him like he's some kind of monster. Well, he is. He intentionally set these fires to, the, to these homes and kill people. She says, people make mistakes, and that's what this is. Yes, it was a horrible tragedy, but it's still not something to throw his life away over. Bullshit. Is little black boys around this establishment who haven't done a goddamn thing on this level, and their lives been taken away, and they get called monsters all the time. This little, this little demon, this little child, this child of the corn, intentionally set fires and killed people. His own family. And did it intentionally. Which means he was proud of what he did. The victims are all members of the family. Outwards of the children, Damien and Ariel Wall, ages 2 and 1, respectively. Her grandmother, Catherine Murray, age 69. Her fiancé, Jason Wall, 34. And her niece, Rose Outwood, age 2. Outwood was in the home when the fire broke out. And you know what's so crazy? She was in the home, too. She was the only one. Outside the little, out of the little fire starter that lived. But she wants to give some kind of sympathy to her son. Sorry, can't do it. And you know what he reminds me of? He's a combination of Damien from The Omen and that character Macaulay Culkin played in that movie, The Good Son. And a host of other movies where you had these little badass boys in them. This boy eclipses Junior from Problem Shot. At least Junior didn't kill nobody. He was just a menace. But the other ones that I mentioned killed people. I stood at the window and I told my kids I was sorry I couldn't save them, Alwood said. Mommy was right here and I loved them. You know, so at least hopefully they heard that. I told Jason I loved him and then something told me that they are gone. 
Well, soon your little boy will be gone as well. Hopefully they, they need to lock his little ass up. Put him in juvie until he is able to go to a actual adult jail. Because like I said, our boys, our little black boys don't do an ounce of that or won't do an ounce of that. And they will get murdered. They will get killed by these race soldiers out here or they'll get harassed. But this boy right here sets a fire, killing his entire family except one. Intentionally. And she wants to talk about trying to save him. You dumb bitch. He tried to kill you. If, I mean, if you feel that bad about it, maybe you can go out there and create another life and hopefully they'll turn out a whole hell of a lot better than this one. But then again, I see a picture of his mother and looking at her. I don't know who would want to mess with that. But then again, she was engaged. So there you go. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.